Hi, my name is Farah Aisha Slokifli. In this video, I'll be focusing on a new feature called the Board Awareness in Platform Designer, the End User Flow. To begin, I will elaborate on what exactly is the Board Aware feature on the Platform Designer and what it offers. Then, I will perform a walkthrough of the End User Flow using the Board Aware feature in the Platform Designer. Finally, I will carry out a demonstration of this new feature for the End User Flow. Before we proceed with the Board Aware feature, we need to understand what is the purpose of the feature's creation. The current flow for design entry in the Platform Designer has always been reliant on manual configuration work. User needs to comprehend board interfaces and manually export them, in addition to knowing how to do IP parameterization and pin constraints to have a working design. While these details are provided in collaterals such as user guides and data sheets, the implementation itself is set using different tools. For example, pin locations need to be set using the pin planner tool, while device parts were set in the device tool. Simply put, the process is time consuming. To top it all off, if there are IPs that are getting the same board for different designs with similar user-defined parameterizations and pin constraints, user would have to do the same configuration again and again. This process is prone to human error and may cause avoidable mistakes. This is where the board aware feature comes in handy. The board aware feature provides the solution for the current flow by enabling you to configure all functions in one place, which is the platform designer. With this flow, board details including device parts can be set in the Platform Designer. Additionally, IP parameterizations that now include spin constraints can also be defined and implemented in the Platform Designer as a preset targeting a board. This preset feature is a different take compared to the existing one. Previously, users can apply a pre-made preset for only parameterizations of IPs. With the board-aware feature, pre-made presets can now include pin assignments and I.O. standards in addition to parameterization of IPs. Plus, applying presets now will automatically export interfaces as specified in the preset. These board and IP presets ensure that configuration for designs can be reused instead of starting from scratch every time. This feature will not only accelerate time during design process, but also mitigate errors in board, IP, and pin configurations. For clarity, we will walk through the flow using an LED-based parallel I.O. design. The NIOS 5 processor will act as the microprocessor for executing instructions. On-chip memory stores data and instructions, while JTAG enables serial character communications between the NIOS 5 processor and host computer. The PIO will communicate with the LED for output display with data from the NIOS 5 processor. The board aware feature flow for the LED-based PIO design that will utilize the available board and IP presets are as follows. First, a platform designer system is created for the design. This is followed by choosing the appropriate board. By default, the board is synchronized with the one we set in our Quartus project. Next, IP with presets targeting the board will be instantiated. These IP presets may contain pin locations and I.O. standards. These details can be viewed in the platform designer. After the IP presets are applied and connections with each IP are made, ports are automatically exported outside of the platform designer. The pin constraints will then be passed to the QIP file after the HDL generation. Finally, compile the design. To ensure that pin constraints were placed accordingly, you can use the pin planner tool. Let's go through the demonstration for the design. Launch the Intel Quartus Prime software and use the new project wizard to start a new design entry. Proceed with the project type and working directory of the project. With the board aware feature, use the board tab to search for boards or development kits of your choice. You can filter by device family, development kit, and vendor. For this demonstration, we choose the Intel Agilex FPGA F-Series development kit. Details can be observed at the panel on the right. Click Finish. Once you have created an empty project, open the Platform Designer tool to begin the design process. Select the Quartus project you've just created. The board device family and device part will be in sync with the Intel Quartus Prime software. We will create a platform designer system for the demonstration. By default, the platform designer includes clock and reset, which you can use for the design. Because you are creating an LED-based PIO IP design for the F-Series development kit, IP presets targeting this board will be displayed in the board catalog. As you can see, there are already multiple presets available for this board. This design requires a few IPs to be instantiated, 
such as the NIOS 5 processor IP, the on-chip memory IP, the JTAG UART IP, and parallel I.O. IP. Next, IPs can be instantiated by double-clicking. IP presets can also be applied by double-clicking. You can view the preset details by clicking the View button. As can be seen here, an interface in PIO IP has values set for pin assignments. These ports will be connected to the LEDs. Once IPs are instantiated, you can see that the previous interface has been automatically exported by the platform designer. After the proper connections for each IP has been done, assign base address to avoid overlapping of addresses and to clean up the system messages. Now, generate the HDL file of the system. After the HDL generation is done, compile the design. To confirm pin assignments are correctly set, you can view the pin assignments in the pin planner. Finally, program the design to the board. To summarize, the Board Aware feature enables you to design efficiently by utilizing IP presets targeting boards. Next, configurations can now be done in one place, which is in the Platform Designer. And with the release of version 22.4 of the Intel Cortex Prime Pro Edition software, there will be board and presets shipped to users for convenience. Users are also given the option to create their own presets and board files. This feature will reduce manual work needed for configuration during the design process. This video is the first video in the board awareness series. Check out the second video that covers the board author flow in part 2.